There's a bridge in the tri-state that's in worse shape than most bridges in Ohio, and it's used by thousands of people every day. We're not talking about the Brent Spence, rather the Western Hills Viaduct. The 80-year-old bridge hasn't had any major fixes since the 1970s, and it's crumbling. But as Angela Ingram shows us, changes could be coming. Continue on Western Hills Viaduct for a half mile. For more than 80 years, the viaduct has been one of the fastest ways to get to the west side. But time has taken its toll on the connector, and with 55,000 people driving over it daily, engineers say it's time for a new one. It's structurally safe. It's just showing deterioration, showing its age, and it's at the end of its useful life. Engineers are explaining the options and listening to public opinion on replacing the viaduct. The preferred option has a $300 million price tag. With 80% paid by the federal government, the rest would be covered by the state and the city. I mean, it'll be a double deck structure. It'll be a little wider. The lanes will be wider. It'll have two lanes each direction of both upper and lower deck. And the new design would have better access for pedestrians and bicyclists. Right now, there's little to no space for either, and some people who prefer riding bikes say they just don't feel comfortable. Trying to make sure that there was going to be a place for cyclists in the new viaduct plans. Because it's pretty shady right now. Everywhere you ride is pretty much death. I wanted to make sure there was bicycle access on the viaduct. There's currently no good way to bike to the west side. The new viaduct would be built just south of this one. The current one would stay open for drivers until the other is finished. Engineers say the viaduct is still safe, but an updated version will give everyone greater access to the west side. All my concerns were uh, looked at and uh, I think that would be awesome when it gets built eventually. In Camp Washington, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. It would be nice to have wider lanes, wouldn't it? Engineers are hoping to start building in 2025. There's another informational meeting this Thursday at the Orion Academy from 5 until 7.